In this video, let's talk about five side hustles that you can get started on this year that has the potential to make at least $1,000 every month. These are side hustles that I have myself tried over the past 10 years, and some of them I still do to this day. Now, the first question is, what is a side hustle? So simply put, a side hustle is a second job. It's there to bring in more cash. And I'm just not going to list these side hustles here. I'm also going to talk to you about what do you need to get started? My experience doing it. What skills you need to acquire? How much money might it take to actually get started on this? How much money can you expect to make? And also what the ongoing commitment to these side hustles would be. Let's get started on side hustle number one, which is video editing. So when I first came to Australia 10 years ago, I landed in Sydney and I did not know anyone. I had no personal or professional contacts. I did not have a job because I came here to go to uni. I came here to study. Of course, I needed to make some money to, to live for, for expenses. What I have is a very specific set of skills that can take... No, I'm not going to try that. What I did have was skills in video editing. Now, in that first year, I made about $50,000 just doing video editing. And for something that I was doing part-time as a side hustle, that's a lot of money. Because remember, I was going to university during the day. So all this came from working in the evening and working over weekends. But before you go, whoa, I've seen these YouTube videos with amazing video editing and transitions and graphics and sound design. And don't get intimidated by that. That literally is just the tip of the iceberg. 90% of the work that you will get are boring talking head videos. What's a talking head video? I'm a talking head video right now. Someone just talking to camera. What you need to do is when I make a mistake, like I'm making a mistake right now, you chop that up, you put them together, you add some music, you add some graphics at the bottom, say, calling out my name. You maybe add a subscribe button, click the subscribe button. That's it. That's literally what video editing is all about. As long as you're solid on these very basic editing skills, you should be able to get some income going. And you can learn this in just a weekend. Now, just because I said the work is boring, don't mistake me. Boring is good. Boring brings cash. So let me show you what I did. So here in Sydney, we have this website called Edaska, where we can pitch for jobs that people want to get done. And, and this is my login. And this is the kind of work that I used to do to get started. So you can look here, video editing for $350, uh, creating a video for $650. Here's another shoot and edit for $100. Here is some video editing for $850. So you can see that this, this pays well, right? And most of this work, these $100, $115 jobs, they would hardly take less than two, three hours to finish. It's, it's, good, money. it's good money for two hours of work, isn't it? So that's why I think that if you put that weekend's effort to learn video editing, it can be quite a rewarding side hustle to get started on. So the next question is, how do you get started? The good news is the software that I recommend is DaVinci Resolve, which is free. There are numerous courses on YouTube where people just walk you through, handhold you into how to edit using DaVinci Resolve. You start on a Friday evening, by Sunday afternoon, you'll definitely be able to complete at least one edited video that you can post on YouTube and share with your friends. Guarantee. So how much can you charge? If you're just getting started, about $20 an hour is probably a fair amount to get started on. So as your experience grows and as your skill grows, you can start charging more. So work that I do, I now charge anywhere from $1,000 to about $10,000, depending on the complexity of the project, the time commitment, and the value that the client is going to get from that video edit. Now, one industry where you can get away with charging a lot of money is the wedding industry. And that brings me to side hustle number two, becoming a wedding videographer. Irrespective of what the market conditions are, people are always going to get married. So within the wedding industry, there are multiple hustles that you could do. You, you can either become a wedding planner, you could become an invitation card designer, you can become a DJ, a doll player. But I think of all those hustles that I just mentioned, the one you can make the most money from is wedding videography. And I'm kind of combining wedding photography and videography into the same bucket, but you get the idea. So I filmed my first wedding in 2013 back in India. And since then I've done about 200 weddings in the US, in Australia, and in India. I'm not gonna say that filming weddings is an easy job. The brides and the grooms are getting married once, and you have to nail the video every single time. So you need to be passionate about filming weddings. You need to be a real estate videographer, a portrait videographer, a fashion videographer, a lifestyle and travel videographer, all at the same time, because any wedding video has all these items to it. But, it's that challenge which makes wedding videos very interesting. And it's because of the challenge and pressure, wedding videographers can charge insane amounts of money for a wedding film. Now, if you're just getting started, I would say try to become an apprentice to an existing wedding videographer 
just so that you understand what happens in a wedding, where you need to be at any given point of time and what sort of videos actually work. And that experience comes over time. As you gain experience and you have more videos in your portfolios, you can start charging $2,000, $5,000, $7,000, even $10,000 per wedding video. One of my favorite wedding videographers is a guy called Ray Roman and this guy charges about $30,000 to $40,000 per video. So honestly, it's, there's, there's no limit to how much money you can make from this industry. It all depends on your skill. But if you don't try it, you never know what you are. So a few years ago, I was working in the city and I was living about 50 kilometers away and I was driving to the city and back every single day. It was costing me a lot of money in both fuel and in tolls. So I was like, how do I reduce my expenses? So I decided to start doing Uber Eats. What I used to do was turn on Uber Eats on my way back home so that on my way back, if I used to get a ping, I would go to the restaurant, pick up the food, deliver it, and it brought in really good money. So let's let's take a look, right? So this was like last year's earnings, right? So between the 23rd of September and the 30th of September, I drove for one day and I made about $40 that day. The next week, 30th September to 7th October, I made about $401 in just that week. Um, I didn't drive for the next two weeks, but uh, from the 21st of October to the 28th of October, $174. Look at this, 4th November to 11th November, $79 in just a single day. And this is probably two hours worth of driving. One, two, three, four, five, six, six jobs, six jobs, 70 odd dollars. That's, that's really good money. And, and the best thing about Uber Eats is that the barrier to entry is absolutely nothing. As long as you have a car or a vehicle to get you around, you can get started. And you could do this after work every day and you can make about $400 to $500 a week. So there you go. Uber Eats is idea number three. So when COVID started, we all started working from home. Lockdown was going on and I kind of didn't want to drive Uber at that time. So I wanted to find a way to replace that money that I was getting from Uber from a different avenue, from a different side hustle. And that's when I started getting interested in 3D ArcVis. So 3D ArcVis is idea number four. So ArcVis is short for architectural visualization. So if you are on Instagram or on Pinterest, you will see these beautiful images of, of homes, of offices, of concept buildings that are about to be built. All these fall under the 3D ArcVis envelope. Now, the best part is it might look very complex, but it really is not. The software that you need to use is actually free. It's called Blender and you can download it from blender.com. Now, why would you want to get into this? Who's possibly going to pay for this? Now, you might be surprised, but there's incredible demand for 3D ArcVis. Your, your potential clients could be engineers, architects, interior designers, people who have just bought their new homes and they want to see what their new homes could look like. You could offer your service to all these people. Let's go to Fiverr and do a quick search for ArcVis and see what happens. Each of these people are offering the service that I'm just talking to you about. And look how much money that they're able to command. This guy's offering his services starting at $160. Um, this person is at 240, 319. So look at these images. These are the kind of images that you can start designing and creating. And again, they look complex. They're actually not. And to prove that to you, this is the very first ArcVis that I did. I know it looks like shit, but here's what I want you to remember. I did this in just a weekend without knowing how to do any ArcVis at all. So I, I followed this guy on YouTube and it was a tutorial and I followed that tutorial. And this is what I got after literally spending 10 hours on ArcVis. Now, as you start gaining more experience, your quality of work is obviously going to get better. And after about 20, 30, 40 hours of work, I was able to do something that looked like this. If I can do it, there's no reason why you can't do it. Getting started is simple. As I said, Blender is free. There is this guy on YouTube called Blender Guru. Learn Blender for the first 24, 48 hours. And, and you will realize how incredibly exciting and simple ArcVis really is. Now, enough talking about ArcVis. I want to move along to the next side hustle. It's options trading. So now I get very excited when I talk about options trading. I've been doing it for about three years now, but I want to qualify this with a warning with something that you need to know. Options trading is a very high risk strategy. There's a good chance that you will lose money if you do not know what you're doing. 
But my philosophy is just because something is risky doesn't mean you don't try it. You learn everything that there is to learn about it and then you give it a fair go. So the way it works is you would sell options on a per month basis. So let's say on the third of every month, you would start selling a chunk of options to, to different buyers and you earn premium. And at the end of the month, depending on where the stock price has gone to, you either get to keep the stocks that you originally had or you need to sell it to them at a predetermined price. But the premium that you earn, that's for you to keep. Now, the amount of work that you need to do in this side hustle is at max about two hours of work a month. And you also have the potential of making $10,000 a month, but that entirely depends on what your initial capital is. Now, if I keep talking about options trading, I can go on for the next 10 hours. If this is interesting and you want to learn more about options trading, leave a comment because I would love to make videos about all these different strategies. It's, it's really fun when you get into it. So there you go. Those are my top five side hustles that I personally tried and I keep using to this day. Now tell me in the comments below, are there any side hustles that you've done that I've not done that you want me to try out? I would love for you to tell me and I'll go out there and do it. And I might even make a video of me doing it. And if this video was useful to you, please hit the like button. It helps the algorithm and it helps this channel grow. And if you like this video, you'll like the next video on the playlist, which is eight different ways for you to make passive income. And until next time, bye.